Hello everyone, this is Lanthal here, getting ready to do another Let's Play video. Today's um, video, continuing on with our Super Solvers series, and we are going to be playing a great classic, a favourite of mine, Outnumbered. Outnumbered is another one by the Learning Company from 1990, just like Treasure Mountain was. This one is actually specifically a math adventure, so there is, um, unlike Treasure Mountain, which had some word puzzles and some number puzzles, um, this is specifically a math adventure, and it is actually probably targeted towards a slightly older audience than Treasure Mountain was. Um, and there are varying skill levels in this one as well, so that you can, if you're a, an eight-year-old who's slightly smarter or a ten-year-old who's slightly smarter, you can do the, the more slightly more complicated multiplication and division puzzles. Um, so let's kick into it. The Master of Mischief is planning to take over the Shady Glen TV, SG TV station, and is hiding out in one of the rooms. You must find his hideout and stop him by midnight. Collect clues about each room by solving the math challenges he has cleverly placed there. Capture secret code in the halls by zapping his robot Telly and answering the drill questions that follow. Then, use your decoder to match the clues with the secret room to find the room where the Master of Mischief has concealed his hideout. Decide correctly, and you win the game! Yay! So, here we go and- Oh, what was that? We've been zapped. Enter the station. Alright. So instead of being a mountaineer, hardy mountaineer, this time we are a youth in a jacket and very fetching shorts and a hat. We look very suspicious, actually. So, same as the other game, we strut around um, like in Treasure Mountain, but instead of a net, we have a zappy thing this time. It has an energy reading down here. We need to keep be careful of that. We also have a clock. We need to be, have everything done by midnight. If I push the tab button, ooh, there was a little TV popping up there. This is our secret code area, and we can try and figure out which room he's in. We have no clues yet, so that's no good to us right now. But we're about to be attacked by a TV. There's a TV! Shoot! Oh, oh, oh. He's... Oh. He hit me with a CD! That's a bit rude! Why is there a CD coming out of a TV? I don't understand. Okay. One of the things I love about this game is the music. Um, I think I like this music better than the Treasure Mountain music. It, um... The music in the hallway... And then the music in the rooms is different. I quite like this uh, music in the rooms. Um, now... In the rooms, there are different um, areas where there could be a puzzle. So the puzzle could be on this one here, it could be on the weather map, or it could be on this one over here. Um, so I just need to come forward and see. Yep, so today's one is on the graves. So, and we have a word question, which is great because I think... Uh, um, A lot of uh, kids have issues with word questions. They can do standard numerical math problems without too many problems, but when it comes to reading a question and having this problem solve, a lot of kids struggle. So I think this kind of game where they have this kind of question is excellent. Um, some people do not pay attention to interviews after the first two minutes. How many minutes must be cut from the Thursday interview to make it two minutes long? Well, let's have a look. Here is our graph. Minutes, day. Let's look at Thursday. Uh, Thursday it goes for four minutes. How many minutes do we need to cut? We need to cut two. Enter. Do, 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 do. Huzzah! We got the correct answer. So now if I go to the decoder, we'll see that in the newsroom I now have a code. And we'll need to match that code there with the code here which we will learn by um, zapping the TV outside naturally. He seems very happy as he walks, doesn't he? He's like, I'm chilling here, strutting my stuff. Right here. Then we have these drill questions. Zero plus two is two. Eleven minus five is six. Seven plus zero is seven. And one plus five is six. We have a chair. Let's have a look at our... Okay, so we definitely know it's not the newsroom. That's great. I'm just going to check something here, actually. 
Um, I should have probably customized it at the start. So this is going to be a very easy round. Because I didn't have the multiplication and division. So that's okay. 12. 8 plus 2 is 10. Uh, 12 minus 5 is 7. Okay, so we now have two codes. Uh, I guess that's a microwave? Can't be a microwave. It must be a TV. Looks like a microwave. Okie dokie. So, upstairs. Ooh, let's use our energy supply machine to recharge our energy. Oh, it doesn't like me anymore. Moving along. Let's go in the cartoon room. See? New music again. Let's see. Will it be on the piano? Not the piano. How about the graphs over here? No, not on the graphs over here. It must be on the tapes then. Tapes. Video cassettes. I took tape A and cut out all the funny parts. Oh, rude. Those cuts added up to 44 minutes. When I put tape A back, together without the funny parts, how many minutes long was it? Well, we can do 53 minus 44. And if you can't do that in your head, you've got this wonderful calculator here. So we can go 53 minus... You have to use the, the number buttons. You can't actually use the... You can't use your mouse on it. It doesn't actually work that way. Uh, 44 equals... I could do that in my head. I'm just showing you the calculator. And then we push enter and we get our answer. Huzzah! Look at the decoder. So, okay, well it could be the cartoon room. First two icons do match. Unfortunately, we can't actually decide yet. It'll tell us. You must collect all four pieces of the secret code. And all four clues for at least one room. So at this easier level, they give you all the clues in your first hit. But on harder difficulties, you may have to do two puzzles in a room to actually get all the things. Or you have to have all the rooms and at least one piece of the code. So at this stage we don't have either of those options available to us, so we need to continue. Out the door. Strut. We can also somersault. Whoops, that's zapping. Hello. Seven plus four is eleven. <coughs> three minus one is two. Nine minus three is six. 1 plus 6 is 7. Satellite dish. Well, I'm pretty sure our cartoon room looks like that too. Oh, he's come back again. Uh-oh. Ah. Oh. We can flip. Ha-ha. Flip. But not... Unlike the Treasure Mountain guy, he can't stay in the air. He's not as cool as the Treasure Mountain guy. Got? Oh, I lost it. There he is. Ha-ha. I zip you. Oh, he didn't have a little red screen on him, so he just goes away. Into the equipment room. Here? Yes. Perky Patty and Pesky Pete are doing a sports show. They will need 22 cans of film. After they take their film, how many cans of film will be left in the equipment room? Let's have a look. Film, 50 cans. They are taking 22 cans, which means that there will be 28 cans left. Let's have a look at the equipment room. Mmm, so the cartoon room is looking good. Flip. Great eight. Oh. Telly is going to sneak into the sound room during the cartoons and decrease the volume by 28. At what number will Telly set the ones control? Oh, that's a cool question. Using tens ones columns, I like it. It will set that one to an eight. Eh? Oh, decrease the volume by twenty. Oh, I read it as set it at twenty-eight. Well, that's because I'm stupid. <sighs> read again. Decrease the volume by twenty-eight. At what number will Telly set the ones control? Well, currently it's at. 41. And we're going to decrease it by 28, so we can do some simple calculations here. 41 minus 28 equals 13. So we're going to put the 1's column 
on a three. Huzzah! Now, we still need one more telly thing, don't we? Yeah, it's looking like the cartoon room. I'm pretty confident it's going to be the cartoon room. So let's see what we can do about finding telly again. There he is! Zap him! Oh, jeez, he's hurt me! <sighs> flip! Flip! There's the game room, let's go in there. The prize is right. Prize B contains modelling clay. Telly changed some of the clay into slime. Rude. So now the price of prize B will be decreased by a price of prize A. How many dollars will prize B cost? Again, word puzzles, I love these. This is excellent. So prize B will be decreased by the price of prize A, so it's going to be $50. Do -do 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 -do. Ah! That was interesting. So we've got all the rooms now, so we should be able to work out our code. Hmm. Well, must be that one there. Decide. Is the Master of Mischief hideout in the cartoon room? Yes, it is! Are you sure the Master of Mischief's hideout is in the cartoon room? I am sure. If you're in there, I'm putting an end to your mischief! Ah, you found me! Try to catch me again! Okay. Definitely done better. And now we do a jig. And some flipping. The zap jig. Yeah! So I need to get to 30,000 points to become a senior. And to continue... Guess I would like to play again. Um, so what I should have done is gone to... Customize game? Okay. Yeah, that'll put me into that. Right, yeah, so that'll be a next time thing, I think. Um, but yeah, that was just a very quick video of Outnumbered the Game. And, um, I'm sure I'll do another video of it, at least one more video of it. And, um, but I have another Super Solvers game that I would love to play as well, so stay tuned and there'll be... Oh, I just ran into telly. Stay tuned and there will be a, um, another video of a third Super Solvers game. So until then, guys, uh, I will see you around. Ow!